Hello everyone! Happy WISAC for everyone! We are, this is 24 hours with Gautama. Recently we were in Argentina with uh, Mauro Vitali and now we are in Sydney, Australia. So, um, I want to share with you, first of all, a video. This video is a song by Ruben Cedeño and I would like to listen um, to you. Uh, the song is Lord Gautama Buddha um, by Ruben Cedeño and Dana Nicola Piano and the International Metaphysical Choir. Let's do that. This, uh, this was recorded last year in the International Metaphysics Congress in Buenos Aires. Which takes place every year in Buenos Aires. So, now we are talking about the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect. This is the 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 thing for now. Nah. The biography. Okay. Well, um, we have pillars of metaphysics and the seven universal principles by Ruben Cedeño, and the song like you already have listened, and another song. Mm, and, and also I put the link um, if you want to watch Little Buddha because I put some extras for from this um, uh, this movie as well and you have a surprise because we have here Metaphysics by Ruben Cedeño it's available at Amazon and well this book is dedicated to Everyone who wants to be free from suffering and be happy. <laughs> so, well, because we are going to uh, study the law of cause and effect, first of all, we need to know what is a law. So, the seven universal principles are laws. Let me put first, you can read that. The seven universal principles are laws that are inexorably fulfilled. If you respect them, you will live in harmony. On the contrary, you will experience suffering. 
So these laws, actually, they are seven laws. And as you can see, so they are mentalism and cause and effect, rhythm and vibration, polarity and generation, and correspondence. Let me show you an example of this law. It's like, for, for instance, this. When you are driving your car and you see a sign on the road, okay, what you, uh, what you have to do? Respect the speed limit. In that case, it's 70 um, your speed limit. And, well, the thing is, why you do that? Because you respect the law. And if you respect the law, what you are doing is a boy mm, killing someone or killing yourself, having an accident because you don't know how is the, the road uh, because you cannot see. So if you respect this law, you, you will live better, much better. And if you don't respect, well, you will, su you will suffer. Okay, okay, and also, well, sometimes we respect the law, in that case, we respect the speed limit to avoid a fine, of course. <laughs> okay, oh, let's go, move on. Okay, the definition of the law of cause and effect enunciates every cause has its effect and every effect has its cause. What the effects will be is depends on the cause. There is no effect without a cause and no cause without effect. Everything you do to others will be returned to you. Lack doesn't exist, but causality does. This uh, definition is to remember. So, is you we, we need to study and remember this this definition and this is the image so we can see here the 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 best way to remember this law because everything everything you you i will show you um okay here so as you see <laughs> Everything you do, everything you say, everything you think, and everything you feel mm, generates something, and this energy uh, return to you always. So if you give a kiss, you will receive a lot of kisses, and if you give a punch to so someone, well, also you will receive a lot of punch. This is the law. For this reason, we are not victims anymore. We are not, um, um, how can I say? We, 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 the punishment, the punishment doesn't exist. Are the rewards? Well, neither, because always is the law of cause and effect. Okay, we are the cause of what happened to us. Uh, I wish to everyone remember these words all the time. I, I would say in, uh, in the first person. I am the cause of what happened to me. I am the cause of what happened to me. And in the picture, as you can see, there is past, future, present. Sorry, I apologize because in English, the logical um, way is to talk about the past, the present and the future. But in metaphysics, we change everything. So I will talk about the past and the future and then I will talk about present. Okay, so if we are talking about uh, the past, there are some um, emotions that, that they are related to the past. And what, well, what emotions? 
regrets, guilty, pride. Because these emotions are related with things like we did, or we said, or we thought. So regrets and guilty when you think it was something bad, and pride because you think you did something good. So, oh, look what I did. Oh, oh. But actually, people who practice Buddha Dharma, uh, um, they, they know this. And for instance, they make um, or they create uh, mandalas. Mandalas are beautiful, beautiful artworks um, with a lot of colors. And what they do is make these mandalas uh, with sun. And you, yes, maybe you are thinking, or you are wondering, why with sun? To understand that everything um, disappear. Will be everything will be disappear someday. So for this reason, they make this. So everything we did someday will disappear. What's happened if we are thinking about the future? Well, also we have another emotion. So maybe we are with anxiety or fear or stress. So all these things are cause. So the cause is you are thinking in the past. So for this reason, you are you feel guilty or you you feel proud, proud, and also if you put your attention in the future, well, you also you will be anxiety because you don't know um, what will happen, and these uh, two things makes us suffer. So the the answer, <laughs> what is? the present. Always is the present. If you are in the present, we'll, we will not suffer anymore because we are not thinking or we are not creating. We are living actually. And wow, sorry for that. I, it's easy to say like, yeah, we have to live in the present. Of course, when you eat, eat. When you pee, pee. And I will give you another tool because this activity is not theoretical, is practical. It's like we need to understand and also we have the tool to how can I live in the present? The answer is it's not it not not <laughs> um, is your breathing okay so for now we are going to do the practice so if you are sitting now on the chair please sit proper let uh, me change the camera okay we are going to see proper, okay? Well, straight, back straight, feet on the ground. You can put your hands on your lap. If you like, you can close your eyes and breathe. Focus only on this part of your body, your nose. When the air comes and goes. And don't control your breathing, only observe your breathing now.
when well i would like to do this a little more but we need to move on because you know this is an event for 24 hours and but the thing is you can practice all the time for instance if you have to talk with someone uh, you are not sure about this person so you can focus on your breathing before to speak to say the words like you want to say proper properly breathe before you have to take an exam breathe before you go to bed breathe when you wake up so you can do this exercise pff, all the time and it's only a few minutes that's all okay so oh, we will we keep going all right so for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned this is the bible so in the modern english by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned so the thing is you have a great power here in this tiny part of our body we have so powerful because everything you said you create so as the bible says when you say something positive you well you are justified so you will be in joy and when you say something negative well you will be condemned let me give you an example so you can say my world has everything i need is some well and you will live with everything you need on the contrary you can say oh this this um buy a house pff, is the house is too expensive you are condemned because you say that and for you will be impossible to buy a house that is your worst okay if you like you can you can read with me as well so i put a little more bigger if the vibrations with which we surround ourselves are good this is the cause that will bring as an effect the connection with high and positive vibrations if i, if I have to talk about vibrations well the the thing is uh I cannot actually because everything that exists vibrates everything that exists has a sound smell and a color and you can apply this for everything so i will talk only about the sound for this reason you are seeing now you are watching a, a ear <laughs> okay and is because it's are very important what we hear what we listen to and what example is the music what kind of music do you like because it's not what you like is the best for you i would say that the 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 high and positive vibrations in terms of music is the academic music when I'm saying I'm academic music, I'm talking about what people used to know as classical music. But classical music is incorrect because classical involves only a period of time of the music. So the correct um, adjective is academic music. <laughs> so with this kind of music, we will will um we will uh like drive you if you want through positive vibrations i want to give you i will tell you a secret i don't know if you enjoyed secrets or not but <laughs> um in the beginning of this um activity we watch a video and 
this is what happened in any Congress, uh, international con in metaphysical Congress. And sometimes I like to listen to this music because I remember when I was there and make me feel so much, much better. Okay, so the fact that things exist in the spiritual world is the cause that produces the effect of being equal in the world of matter and vice versa. Well, the thing is, I put the image of eyes and it's not because it's nice, actually, well, it ain't, um, it's nice as well, but it's not the purpose of that. It's to realize that everything we see outside, surround us, is because, is the cause of, oh, yes, everything is beautiful. When you see a car and you enjoy the car and you say, oh, wow, new beautiful car. Well, this is because you have inside these thoughts. And when you listen, uh, when you listen to music, or when you are watching a, a movie, or enjoying a, a, a um, artwork, so anything you see around you, the cause is inside. And well, um, if you want to change your your surrounding, you need to change first. Because the cause is within you. I am the cause of what happened to me. And what we did, think and feel in the past shapes the causes that are now returned to us as of effect, making us suffer or be happy in compliance with the principle of cause and effect. During this period of time, you will listen a lot because I will repeat and repeat and repeat. We are making us suffer or be happy. And the, um, the, 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 let me do that so you can see me. <laughs> the thing is, karma is the, the fulfillment of this principle, the principle of cause and effect. And uh, let me show you this picture because here we have, I hope you, you can see the mouse. Uh, we have the, mm, this is the wheel of life. And there is so many things. So I will not talk about um, all of them, but I will talk about this part, which is the realm of Devas, or in English, Deity. And here, this part, Hells, which means uh, extremely unpleasant and difficult situation. And as you can see, positive karma and negative karma. So when you are talking about karma, which is the fulfillment of the, lay of, the, the, of the law of cause and effect, we can talk about positive karma. And positive karma is related with this realm. So when uh, the person is living the dream, as um, Ricky Martin says, living la vida loca. <laughs> He or she has everything they want, the perfect job, a beautiful partner, a family, a holiday every day, every, sorry, every year, <laughs> living as a holiday maybe, everything. They are absolutely perfect. And also the teaching, because if, we, if you are studying now metaphysics, this teaching is because you have good karma. And also, okay, if we talk about negative karma, bad karma, okay, is related with this part of the will of life, which means, uh, well, you know, 
um, any kind of suffering, pain, discord, in harmony, uh, a lot of suffering. And this is the life. So we are good karma, enjoying, bad karma, pain. Happiness, pain. Happiness, pain. And that's all. And also the karma can can um, can be classified in individual which means involves only a person familiar which involves all a, a whole family so positive karma um, in terms of familiar can be a royal family negative karma can be related with a family of criminals, thief, or something like that. So national karma involves a whole country and negative, well, uh, both, of course. Racial, uh, some people, when they suffer this racial discrimination, well, this is bad karma, racial, and war karma. And, well... Lord Gautama Buddha, he realized that. So we are in this wheel of life, so happiness and pain. And he thought, so we need to have something else. I don't think this is all, because at the end of the day, we are going to, to die, eh, all of us. And okay, so he discovered something. But I want to come back a little bit to the world karma. And I would like to show you this picture. Mm, let me let me do that. Okay. This image is the statue of Astor Piazzolla in Mar del Plata, Buenos Aires, Argentina. And what this statue has? Well, it's not common. But it has a mask. It has a mask, and because the 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 world the current world karma is using this this kind of thing, and well, do you remember when I we talk about past, future, and present to focus on our breathing? This is what we have to do now. This is to recognize that we need to focus here in your present. So to this happen to remind us what should be done. Remind the breathing. Siddhartha won the battle against his army of demons just through the force of his love and great compassion. He achieved control of his thoughts and emotions. He was beyond joy and pain. So, if you remember the, 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 the wheel of life, he, he go beyond this. He goes, he went, sorry, he went beyond this will. And as you can read, I don't know if you can read yet, <laughs> it's a little tiny later uh, lyric, but I will read for you. You, you are pure illusion. You don't exist. The earth is my witness. And I choose this picture. Because there are many, many images, many, many artworks about uh, Lord Gautama Buddha, but I choose this. King Reeves, a great actor in the cast of Siddhartha at that time, because I want to think you, I want you to think that Siddhartha was a human being, indeed, 
as you, as me, as we. Of course, he was a human being <laughs> 2,500 years ago, but even though so, if he could, he got it, and he achieved control of his thoughts and his feelings. He controlled himself. So we can do as well. And what we need, because he, he got it, and after that, he did something. And he gave, he gave us the path to, in a figurative way to say, to do that. So can, how can I get the control, how can I get the control of myself? Well, it's very simple, as everything in metaphysics is simple. And, and I will show you. Is this the three refuges or the three jewels? And the blue represents Buddha. The golden or yellow means Dharma. And the pink or red is the Sangha. And okay. Buddha, uh, and these days and age, is a facilitator, is a person who teach you, is a person who teach you. Dharma, well, in that case, Dharma means what must be done, can be the teaching. So as I said before, for instance, the book, Metaphysics by Roman Sedenio, or what must be done anytime. So for, I will give you an example. <clears throat> I'm not dressing my, I'm not in my dressing gown. So I need clothes, proper clothes to do that. I am at home now, yes, in my apartment. And what I did yesterday, for instance, I cleaned the windows. You cannot see the windows, I know that. But it's the Dharma, it's what I have to do. So I want to, <clears throat> I want to do this activity and I want the apartment was, I, I want the apartment is perfect. And Sangha. Sangha means the group, your, your friends, your family actually. Is the, all the, all the students which are, who are um, studying as you. So, <coughs> refu <coughs> refugees or jewels is because this is the most important. If you, if in your life this is your first thing in your life, well, this is the way to control yourself, your thoughts and your emotions. And I, I this, these are not my words. This is what says Gautama Buddha Siddhartha. And because this activity is practical, so the person who wants to do that, who really feel that, to take the votes, well, we can do now. Buddha, sorry, I will I will speak in Pali. The blue, uh, the blue is the blue color is Pali, and this is the translation in English. And um, Buddha, the word Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha is Sanskrit. As you can see. We, in, in metaphysics, we learn a lot of uh, languages. Spanish, English, Pali, Sanskrit, a lot. Okay. Buddham Saranam Gachami. I go for refugee in the Buddha. 
Dhamman saranam gachami. I go for refuge in the Dharma. Sangam saranam gachami. I go for refuge in the Sangha. As I said, the person who wants to do these vows, okay, we are going to do that. But, but with music. The Trisharana by Ruben Cedeño with um, Dana Nicola, piano, and the International Metaphysical Choir. First, we are going to listen to this song. Okay, so you know now the music and I will start from the beginning and the person who wants, well, they can do this as well. Three Sharana by Ruben Cedeño. Boys, Ruben Cedeño and International Metaphysical Choir and Dana Nicola Piano. This was recorded in the International Metaphysics Congress as well. Okay, uh, no, I'm back. Okay. Siddhartha was seeing the ultimate truth 
of all things. He understood, sorry, Siddhartha had seen. So this means he by himself seen the ultimate truth. He, it doesn't say he had read, he had read, he had read, or he had taught. No, by himself. This means when you listen to an information, you need to figure it out by yourself. He understood that every movement in the universe is an effect provoked by a cause. He understood the law of cause and effect. He knew that there is no salvation without compassion for every other being. From that moment, Siddhartha was called Buddha, which means the awakened one. And in metaphysics, I will I would like to explain that compassion is the same as violet ray. When we are talking about the violet ray or violet flame or violet light, we are talking about compassion, transmutation, freedom, ceremonial order, and well, a lot of uh, virtues. And, well, he, so, first of all, Lord Gautama Buddha, or Siddhartha, he, first, he understood the law of cause and effect. So, for, if you are studying now the law of cause and effect, you started the, your process of control of yourself. And the second part, is the violet ray or violet flame through compassion. And because some people only believe that in karma is karma and we cannot do anything because, yeah, of course, I am the cause of what happened to me. But we have the violet flame. And I will show you a decrease. So how can we use the violet flame by decrease? Let me open so you can see. Okay, this decree ah, is um, for anything that. Let me first of all let me explain a little bit. What is that? Is because we have a lot of bad karma. We did a lot of bad things. We can remember or maybe we, we don't remember now what we did, but we did and a lot and terrible, terrible things. But the point is because we know now the violet fire, we can transmute this bad karma into nothing disappear and this is wonderful to everyone who knows that and i hope you don't believe me because i hope you use this this decree how can we use okay we can use this decree first of all you need to remember now we are going to read and after that we need to do this at least three times a day at least Morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Or else, but you can do this as, as much as you can or as much as you want. It's up to you. Free, free will. So let me just put this and we can do it together. I am the protection of the armor cylinder of the electromagnetic ray of violet light, which consumes and dissolves all the mistakes made by me and whole humanity. One more time. I am the protection of the armor cylinder of the electromagnetic ray of violet light, which consumes and dissolves all the mistakes made by me and whole humanity. One more time. I am the protection of the armor cylinder of the electromagnetic ray of violet light, which consumes and dissolves all the mistakes made by me and all humanity. Thanks, Father. And the last thing to say, karma and violet flame went for a walk. The violet flame was more powerful than what should be going on.
And this is the end. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lord Gautama Buddha, for your radiation for these 24 hours. Thank you, you, to be there. And, but this is not all, because this, this continue. And let me show you, because yes, we have a lot of much fun, much activities to enjoy during these 24 hours. And OK, we started in Argentina. We came to here to Sydney to Australia and in a few minutes, only three minutes, oh my God, I have to say goodbye. We will go to Spain with Jose Manuel Romero. So thank you <laughs> and happy Wisak. <laughs>